Hey YouTubers, uh, I thought I'd do a real quick video on this since I I ordered, a, I'm going to do a little deal yourself uh, cooler uh, for, for my shop 12 volt cooler, semiconductor cooler, uh, Peltler, Peltier, Peltier cooler. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but it's a solid state uh, uh, cooling chip. And basically uh, you apply 12 volts and one side is hot and uh, one side is cold. Well, I ordered a kit off of Amazon. I know you can get them on eBay. Uh, as this particular one's called a KK Moon uh, Pelt Tier Refrigeration Cooling System Kit. And it came as a kit. And uh, I got to thinking about halfway after I got this together that, you know, it had no instructions. Um, I'm pretty familiar with electronics, so I was able to decipher it. But uh, for those that have never uh, done anything like this, I thought it might be kind of handy just to... I know it's it's pretty much together now, but it's not so far together that I can't explain what goes on. Anyway, in the kit, you'll get a you'll get four of these small self-tapping screws like this. You'll get four larger self-tapping screws right there that holds the fan on. Um, you'll get a big fan with a with a cover there, and uh, you'll get two heat sinks: this big heat sink here, and this little heat sink here. Uh, you'll get these two fans here and then there's a flat it's i call it supposed to stamp it's about a one and a half inch by one inch about a oh not even a quarter maybe an eighth inch thick square um pelter cooling module that's what these two wires right here are coming off of but anyway just to uh make it easy for you to put it together which i wished i'd done it before i started putting together but i don't want to take it back apart but it also comes with uh this piece of foam here and that was one of the kind of things that had me confused for a little bit but uh as you can see i didn't use the out the inside of the foam is not used it's the outside that you want to use and what it's doing is it's insulating in between the hot and cold because basically this chip here is hot on one side and it's cold on the other side so anyway just to make this real short and simple for you guys um that pretty much breaks down the kit it's it's not real complicated two fans two heat sinks and a cooling module but uh, the, the little tricks are one is, is, as you see here, this piece here, it has a piece of foam that goes around the outside. Well, that goes right here around the outside of the chip. It also comes with some heat sink grease, which is some white goo. And our white goo, it's some thermal grease is what it's called. It's kind of greasy. But what you want to do is you want to take this chip that these two wires are on, which is that square ceramic chip. And you want to apply that liberally on both sides of that chip. And by the way, it doesn't tell you this either, but on that module, the side with the writing is the side that's cold and the side that has no writing on it is the hot side, which is very important as far as how you lay it on these two heat sinks. I did it by hooking it up 12 volts real shortly to figure out which side was cool and hot. And uh, now I know I identified it. it is the hot side is the side or the cold side is the side that has writing on it. So basically you take that chip, you put this grease on both sides of it. You just lay it down on the heat sink on there. It's got two holes, one on each side for the heat sink. And uh, you lay it down with, with the thermal grease on it, uh, with the non riding side down on the big part of the thermal or the heat sink. And then the, with the riding will go on the small part here. And then from there, you'll have these two screws, which Again, I wish I had put together, but maybe you can see down in there. See that screw? It's got a little plastic insulator there. You want to put that insulator on the screw because you're insulating between the two heat sinks. So you have those two screws there, which are threaded, probably like 830s by, I would say, three quarters of an inch to an inch. This, it's these two screws right here, but it has a little plastic insulator. And as you can see down in there, you just put the screw through. It's kind of, it's got a flat end and then it's got a tired end that insulates it from the metal and uh, it's kind of self-explanatory when you see the two but you put a uh, put those two in there and then you take and you put the heat sink on top and then you just thread the screws through the heat sink and you tighten them down so now you have it down to where you have your hot side goes down to the big heat sink the with the riding semiconductor side goes to the small heat sink here and then, uh, like I said, then you just uh, screw it down from that end using the two insulated screws and tighten it down. And you don't want to over tighten it because you don't want to break the chip, but you want to make it good and snug. So I'd say, you know, tighten it and then a smidgen more. And uh, that should get you in. The, I mean, I've got it good and tight on here. And from there, pretty much all I've got left to do now to finish this design is, oh, also on the fans, the fans, the writing is the air is pulling. So... 
Um, you want to put the riding side of the fan out so that it's pulling the heat off the heat sink. But on the uh, small fan, it's the same way that the air is the the side with the label is the side the air is coming or pushing out of. So the airflow, if I set this fan down here, means that the airflow is going that direction. So it's pulling air through the fan and pushing it through. So then it's your decision on whether you want to put the, the fan blowing into the heat sink or out of the heat sink. Personally, I think um, the best way, definitely on the heat sink side, is you want to get that hot air away from as best you can. So I think it'd be pulling the air off of it. And uh, as far as the one going this way, I might play around with it and see which way makes the most sense. I think either way it will work fine because you're still removing the heat off the heat sink. It's just how you're pulling the air. You're either blowing the air on the heat sink or pulling the air off of the heat sink. And I'm thinking uh, you want to pull the air off of actually both sides of the heat sink. You want to pull the air off of the hot side and pull the air off the, the cold side. So you're wanting to... Uh, blow the air out uh, actually i said the other way but i think i'm going to go ahead and have both of them pulling air off of the heat sinks because that's really that's how this whole works is one side's hot due to the the thermal variances between the two types of semiconductors it creates a uh, a thermal difference and uh which makes one side hot and one side cold using voltage the interesting thing with these two is actually if you put a candle underneath this that semiconductor would actually generate some electricity kind of like a solar cell but that's for a whole nother discussion this isn't the science class it's just this is a simple explanation of how to put this uh particular kit i ordered on amazon so basically what i'm down to now is just taking this fan and i got these four last self-tapping screws and they just go in to the four corners here and they will screw into the heat sink just like that i'll just set them on top here 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 in here they're kind of be self-tapping so it'll be a little hard to screw them in but then basically i'll just screw those in in fact i'll go ahead and screw those in and by the way it comes with plugs on the fans which i don't know why because uh I, it's, those are proprietary plugs and i don't have anything to plug the other end it's not like it came with a uh a female part of the the plug so i just cut the the wires off which actually we'll show you the wiring here in a second let me go ahead and get this fan screwed down okay i now have my uh pelt here cooling module all together and working the way i did it since the wires were a little bit longer here is i went ahead and uh i just peeled back the uh insulation on the hot and cold and uh so that i have some extra wire to use here and what i'll do is i'll go back and solder these two joints and slide a piece of uh heat shrink tubing over those two and then that but basically what you want to do is the fans both have a red and a black wire and of course the semiconductor does and it's really simple here guys all you got to do is all the reds go to the reds and all the blacks go to the blacks and uh the volts positive battery 12 volts negative battery black and red and uh, i do have it cooling now and uh it's not pulling as much heat as i thought it would it's uh just slightly warm but on this side here this is nice and cold i mean it's freezing cold on that side and i do think i like it having to pull in the air off of it because i'm getting a nice cool uh uh, thermal pull off of the uh, off the heat sink on this side so I think that's going to be the way I want to do it as far as pulling the the cold air off the heat sink on both sides of it but that's pretty much that's all there is to putting it together I'm actually um at the same time I bought this I bought this little module here off of eBay which it was really reasonable um I think it was called high let go or high let go high let go I think is what it's called is w1209 and it's a 12 volt uh dc ther thermostat and uh the reason i did that's because i'm trying to try to make this energy efficient and i don't want it running all the time once it cools down the contents to what i want it should shut off and uh so i bought this little module and i'm going to go ahead and wire it up here in a second too and i'll go ahead and show you that but uh but this this did this completes this but i'll go ahead and i'll heat shrink these up and i'll come back and uh basically the way this works is it's got a it's got your 12 volts in your ground and then it's got your positive negative that for your cooling item that you're going to turn off and on with this which i'll go into a little more detail once i uh, get this soldered up and cleaned up and wired up here i'll explain this and kind of show what it will do as far as turning it off and then the next thing i'm going to do is find me a uh oh probably a, a smaller i mean I, I don't know how many cubic feet this can cool it probably depends on how well it's insulated but uh my thought is probably something that'll hold um i don't know eight to ten cans of soda pop something like that a small cooler chest and then basically what I'll do is I'll cut a hole in the side and this the hot side will go to the outside and 
then I will hook that to the inside and that will be my colder going in which I'm, I'm really pleased with uh, I think this is rated at um, 70 watts I think it, it probably pulls four to five amps I could actually uh, if people want I can go back and I've got a, a amp meter and I can find out exactly what the the current draw is but it's, it's, it's rather small um, I know it's under uh, it's under probably uh, less than five watts but if you do Ohm's law five times 12 would be uh, that would be 70 watts so maximum would be five amps but it's probably more in the I'm thinking in the four amp range but uh, anyway um, let me go ahead and I'll hook this up too just so that you can get an FYI on how to hook up a, uh, a thermostat controller if you want to to the fan as well but I'll go ahead and clean this up but I think that kind of gets you an idea on how to put it together much better than what I got which was basically a brown box with all these parts in it so this maybe help some of you guys if you have to, to want to do one of these kits okay I now got uh, all of my uh, soldering and heat sinking done or heat shrink done as you can see I soldered my three wires together on the hot and cold and then I ran a piece of uh, heat shrink on each of them so that it's nice and insulated well now I'm actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece here and run it over the final and bundle it all up so it's nice and neat and voila so I went ahead and uh, and I laid another piece over over it like that so uh, you know the wires don't get in the way of the fans or nothing I'm kind of nice and neat here as far as my uh, wiring and then all I have coming out is my hot and cold so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and wire up my uh, thermal thermostat and uh, be back in a minute with that okay I now have the uh, thermostat hooked up to the uh, pelt here uh, solid state cooler as you can see I've actually got the thermal probe for the uh, the thermostat setting in the fins of the uh, cold side heat sink so it's it's really dropping colder than it really be but I kind of did it just so the point as you can see right there I've got it set at 10 degrees as being the, uh, the cutoff so as the that's it's in celsius which uh 10 degrees is approximately 50 degrees which is probably about where i want to keep it we'll see how good that does i'll just up or down depending on uh how well my box is insulated and how low i can get it but current i just set it at 10 degrees so basically or 10 celsius which means 50 degrees so if it's above 50 degrees in the cooler the cooling system will come on and if it's below 50 degrees it'll turn off um, which I've got it set right now as that is you I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear once it gets above nine point or ten The system comes on as the temperature drops Back under ten it will turn off Which if you're curious actually I've just played with it and using the thermostat I could actually get this uh heat sink fin down to 38 degrees so basically the pet pet pelter um i hope i'm pronouncing that pelter uh cooling system at least this particular solid state ship will get down to 38 degrees you know just depending on how insulated and how well your circulation is to whether they could actually get a cooler box down to 38 i would assume it'd have to run about 24 7 with a really sealed box to get that low but I think at 50 it'll it'll actually come on and off and depending on how much you open and close it you know hopefully this will be energy savings it'll turn it off and on uh just a little short summary on the uh as as well as the uh as the kit i got for the pet cooler uh there was no instructions whatsoever on this thermostat um i believe there were like it's like seven dollars i think uh let me pull it up real quick off of Amazon for uh, yeah seven ninety nine so they were four bucks a piece. I know you can go W twelve oh nine twelve volt DC digital thermostat controller board works really good, but it is as I said absolutely zero instructions. So I kind of had to play with it. I can tell you you hold the set button down, and then that's where you can set your upper and lower temperatures, and and you can tell it whether you want it to turn on when it gets cold or turn on when it gets hot. So you know if you you can also use this to uh, for heating purposes if you wanted but uh you know there's several videos out there on youtube if you want to know more about how to program it um i saw a couple of videos in, on how to wire it and really they were uh, very uh weren't very clear to me but uh anyway fortunately you know with a good old little digital voltmeter 
and I was able to trace it down and figure out what's going on but basically if you look at this thing it's got 12 volts in ground well those are those are your source to uh, drive the thermostat so uh, so you just on this particular setup since I'm gonna be running the whole thing off 12 volts I just use the 12 volt ground off the same source that I'm running the pelter, pelter off of so uh, so I actually tied the two grounds together and because uh, I had the ground off of the uh, pet pelter and then the the feed for my ground for my 12 volt supply on the on the 12 volt side I uh, took a uh, from my 12 volt power supply and hooked the 12 volts up directly to the one that says 12 volts now this is where it gets a little tricky you got to understand k0 and k1 that is not power feeds all that is is an open shut circuit so in other words there's this relay right here turns off and on via the settings you set here but it's just a it's a it's a shunt it's an off on switch and it carries no voltage whatsoever on k0 or k1 so you have to envision it as a single pole switch so what i did was um to make it neat as far as you know this item compact is if you see here you can see i have a little wire shunt that goes from my 12 volts over to k one well basically what i'm doing there is i'm just feeding the same you could have split two wires or wide two wires however you want to do it but basically since i'm feeding the same supply on both my pelter cooling and the the thermostat then it's you know the same 12 volt source so i just moved it over you, you can envision it too you could actually take uh you could take the positive wire and uh hook it up on one side and then hook the other side up so basically it'd be like an inline switch on one wire so if you if you wanted to you could uh to feed it you could have it to where you have a red wire coming in here and a red wire coming out here and then it'd, be, it'd be still be a red wire on that end so that whenever this kicks on it just closes that red wire you just gotta understand it's just a it's a single post switch is basically what it is so you so don't don't hook your 12 you know 12 volts here and then hook these two up and expect it to park because it doesn't you still have to have an external power source it is just a switch in other words on off so on one wire obviously it's not two wires it's single pole so you could use the negative too but i just use the hot side for the source for the load but um, hopefully that helps you a little bit uh I it's just turning off and on um obviously with the thermocoupler it turns off and on a lot if i take this away because this is your thermocoupler thermostat it's going to come on and it's going to stay on and i can actually body temperature wise you can see if i hold that it'll really start zooming up there but uh see now it's going to stabilize the room temperature and it's not going to kick off like it is right now at 10 degrees with it being on the fan but anyway i hopefully this is helpful um i just threw it together thought it might be a little bit interesting i got this kit in like i said i want to build me a little 12 volt cooler to I can run off my cigarette lighter in my car or you know if we had a power outage i could run it off a solar panel or a battery just kind of handy uh can handy small cooler i can have sitting around here that runs off 12 volts so uh so i got for this episode enjoy uh please subscribe and if you got any questions feel free to ask the electron man